Well, there's a clear distinction between education, intelligence, knowledge, and wisdom. These four terms are used interchangeably and out of context, but they all, semantically, they all mean the same. They all fall under the umbrella of knowledge. Knowledge means to know. Knowledgeable means able to know. But knowledge, education, intelligence, and wisdom, they have very delicate syntax, slight, very delicate nuances. One example is education is based on the acquisition of pre-existing, existing, pre-established, re-established, or established information. And we see education illustri illustrated on the popular uh, educational game show host Jeopardy. Jeopardy ba may be based on stuff like the American Revolution, the United States Constitution, the Civil War, the Civil Rights Movements, and World Geography. So education is based on the acquisition of information. Intelligence now is bas based on spatial reasoning. Spatial reason is basically the capacity to think. And we see intelligence illustrated in an IQ test. If you look at the IQ test, over 75% of the questions is based on drawing conclusion about three-dimensional objects based on limited information, basically finding patterns in these, these, these description and description. Right. So we established that education and intelligence are mutually exclusive, although they fall under the same umbrella of knowing. Now, what is um, knowledge? Well, knowledge gets a little more trickier. You see, when we have intelligence and we acquire education, something emerges in our, our consciousness. We discover that, wait a minute, there's different ways to know. There's different ways of knowing. We can know through intelligence, and we can also know stuff through education. So what happened here is, it's a kind of insight, an intermittent or inadvertent in, um, uh, insight that had an effect on our perception. So out came of that emerge an awareness. So awareness is really an insight that had an, an effect or an effect on our perception because we discover that we can know through intelligence and we can know through knowledge. So one of the first quality of knowledge is awareness. And in that awareness is a kind of comprehension or understanding. Comprehension and understanding is not the same. Comprehension is, is the, uh, absorbing or the processing of that new information and, and um, understanding is the internalization of that. Now if you look at awareness, comprehension and understanding in a chronological sequence, it's really the blueprint characteristics of experience. So we understand that education is based on acquisition of information illustrated and demonstrated on the educational game show host Jeopardy. This is very important for all the kids. Intelligence is based on spatial reasoning, illustrated and demonstrated through IQ tests. Knowledge is based on three fundamental quality, awareness, understanding, and what's the third one? Well, if you look at awareness, comprehension, and understanding, it's really the blueprint characteristics in chronological order of experience. This is very important. So knowledge is based on, this is the most important video for these kids, trust me. Knowledge is based on awareness, understanding, and, and experience. And where is knowledge illustrated? Not in an IQ test, and not in a, uh, the, the television game show host Jeopardy. All of our great predecessors, the small percentage that shaped the evolution of human civilization, Einstein, Isaac Newton, all of them, it was a combination of intelligence and education. Einstein's idea of time in special and general relativity was really a conclusion he derived to where he came up with the idea of um, 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 there's a disparity in the elapsed time measurement between two clocks traveling at the same velocity relative to each other. It's complicated, but it's irrelevant. It's illustrate a point. So knowledge now, you see illustrated with Einstein and Isaac Newton. Three laws of no, uh, motion, a third law state that every force or action is contingent or conducive on an, on an equal reactive force. Einstein uses education, but he, he used intelligence. He, he taught in metaphors, analogies, and colors. Now, the last one is wisdom. Wisdom gets very complicated. Wisdom is based on three fundamental criteria: Subtle intelligence, hyper-consciousness, and sensory acuity. We're not going to get into the details because it's kids I'm speaking to. But where we see wisdom illustrated, in the biblical char character King Solomon, when there was a rivalry between two women over a child, he said, split the baby in half. That's wisdom. Wisdom is a different kind. So kids out there, it's very in, uh, uh, important to understand that there's a clear distinction between education, intelligence, knowledge, 
and wisdom. This is knowledge you would not find in the dictionary, but from the one and only, the all-encompassing, immaculate, splendid, the Telston Fitzgerald Holder the First. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, Addison. <laughs> Thank you.